Hi, ceramic enthusiasts. In this three-part video, I'm gonna show you how to make this table lamp. Let's get started. The tools you're gonna need for this project are um, your bucket of water and sponge, um, sponges for throwing, your ribs, a wire tool, calipers and a ruler, and your needle tool. You're gonna need six bats and six pieces of clay. To start off, we are going to use a um, large amount of clay and throw um, two large cylinders that will be combined and stacked together to make one large cylinder. So if you are not able to throw large, this is a great helpful tool for you to do. You can make multiples of a piece and combine them together. So the calibers will help you do that. I um, t drew out my um, idea first and decided on the size I wanted to do. So that's what I was doing with the ruler. I was measuring that out um, so that I can make them the same size. The great thing about this project is we are literally just creating and throwing cylinders without bases. So when you're opening your piece after centering, you're gonna go all the way to the bat and then you're gonna open um, up your piece as wide as you need it. Um, I suggest throwing it just a little bit wider so that you can remove clay as you're throwing. Um, that usually happens anyways, so um, you might as well throw a little bit bigger, um, wider. Uh, then um, you're just gonna pull up and we really want um, as close as possible to have um, straight up walls. Um, no bowing, no, um, or then the shape will just look weird. So if you want a solid cylinder, you gotta take your time, pull up your walls. As you can see here, my walls are starting to come out. That's because I'm using too much pressure with my inside hand. So I need to just, um, as I'm pulling my walls, use the pressure from my inside hand. Um, Otherwise, you're going to have to keep collaring in like I am doing here. But that's okay. If that happens, it happens. Take your time and move the clay back inwards. I also want to throw these cylinders, um, just so you know, this was with four pounds of clay. I want to throw these cylinders four inches tall. That way I have um, a total height with um, both stacked upon each other to be eight inches tall and there will be slabs included in this, so that will um, consider the shrinkage that's happening. So my table lamp will still be um, about eight inches tall in the center. Once you have it to the size you need it to be, Go ahead and use your um, the flat side of your rib to clean up the outer um, outside so that it's nice and smooth and straight. And then even make sure the top is um, flat, not rounded like you would a cup. Um, this one is the same amount of clay, four pounds, and I'm going to repeat the exact same thing. Okay, now I'm ready to make the center tube that's gonna hide all the cords in my lamp so that you don't see where I carve. This is about five pounds of clay and um, it's the same idea with the previous pieces except um, it's tall and skinny but still opens all the way to the bat. This piece you very much so wanna make sure um, it's as centered as possible. It's just gonna make it easier to throw it. Um, so uh, the same idea, um, except I will be coloring a, in a lot because I need it to be narrow, narrower than my hand. Um, so you will see, aside from the back of my head, me coloring it in quite a few times. And I need this to be nine inches. I want it a little bit bigger because um, it's always better to have a little more and remove some later. So see each time I go to pull up the walls, I make it a little wider. So I'm going to have to keep coloring it in. I 
I do apologize that I keep putting my head in the way of the camera. Um, I had it at the wrong angle that I needed. Um, so here's one more collar in, and then I'm going to again take my flat rib and smooth the size and make sure it's nice and narrow. These last three pieces are um, very small um, cylinders. They're about half a pound, three quarters of a pound each um, with their own measurements and then um, a third one that's half a pound. Um, and these are the tops and the bases of the, the uh, table lamp. So you'll see like this piece I had too much clay so I'm just removing it. Um, and I want everything to have flat um, top and bottoms to it. I will give you the measurements for these two. So once you're done throwing all your pieces, you're gonna leave your your large cylinders um, on their bats and the rest can go on a wear board to dry. So I hope you had fun with this and thanks for watching. Stay tuned next week, we'll, I'll show you how to combine all these pieces together.